Automotive art was created when the Huayra BC Machina Volante came to the world. The name Machina Volante gives great tribute to Leonardo da Vinci. Machina Volante, the flying machine, was an invention that Leonardo da Vinci was working on before he passed. But also Leonardo da Vinci being an important role model to Horatio Pagani himself, as he really appreciates all the works he did in the past, his art, his engineering, and the inventions that he put together for the world today. BC stands for Benny Caiola, a dear friend of Mr. Pagani, a very important customer of the Pagani brand, an overall icon. It was made in homage to him, one of 20 models made worldwide, a lightweight edition of the Pagani Waira Coupe. A very selective group of buyers were offered this car, and this one is even more special. It's number 12 of 20, and it's truly a one-off. As we see the Machina Volante beside us today, we see so many beautiful features from the blue carbon fiber inspired by the Zonda 760 Roadster Kiru, which was born with this first owner in Japan, which shows this beautiful, vibrant blue carbon chimneys on the rear clam, which you see in Machina Volante. Just take a look at how everything is brought together and how many scoops and ducts and additional design elements bring this car above and beyond. And firstly, I like to really focus on a very important design feature of this car, the rear wing, completely constructed out of a unique one-off design, which was wind tunnel tested by Pagani, designed and engineered, and gives this car a more dramatic impact in its performance with downforce and aerodynamical features. And as we look at that wing, also look at the beautiful etching on the wing, which was engraved and painted by Mr. Horatio Pagani himself, an artisan who created such a special piece. Then on the rear clam to the chimneys, which bring additional airflow into the rear of the vehicle, as well as those beautiful bezels done in that blue design, also inspiration from the Kiru. And as you also look directly at the car, you see this beautiful air intake, the snorkel, what Pagani is so iconically known for, first shown on the Zonda, and then very rarely shown on the Huayra. Another unique one-off feature, the only car that's ever been seen with a Huayra, are these unique Zonda mirrors. Such an iconic shape, look, and feel for the car makes it completely different from any other Huayra. And as we look beyond that, we see beautiful elements of the blue Francia, which is that beautiful electric blue paint that's featured down the center of the car in its BC livery, additionally painted on the beautiful lip of the wheel on the black rims that you see here today. And as you look at this car, it looks strong. It looks muscular. The details could be picked up in a different way every time you look at it. Details of the exterior of the Huayra BC Machina Volante are impressive, but so are the interior details. And we get to see that by looking at the Bianco Gonzaga colored carbon fiber. Within that, this beautiful blue sparkle, which brings together this really fun effect as you open the door and look throughout. The fabrics, the leather, the tartan inside all work together beautifully. And within that, you see this black Alcantara with this beautiful special one-off blue leather. And within that, this tartan fabric that was actually sourced from Europe, originally woven in 1951, a new old stock in the last remaining roll left in the world, the same fabric that it would have been used on the championship winning W196 Mercedes-Benz driven by Juan Manuel Fangio, who brought home the world championship twice using this fabric. Fangio being a very important role model and figure to Horatio Pagani, he was actually key and instrumental in putting together the partnership for the engine for Pagani Automobili. The reason being, Fangio had such an iconic career with Mercedes-Benz, an Argentinian had also learned about this project, Pagani Automobili being put together by Horatio in the 90s. He named a model after him called the Zonda F, F standing for Fangio, in which 25 coupes were built and 25 roadsters. In homage to 
this material, you can see it featured throughout. It also gets featured on the iconic Zonda HP Barchetta, which Horatio beautifully made for his personal collection. This tartan is giving it a throwback style, but also tying that whole story together. And within that, you'll also see the significance and the number 12. 12, one being the chassis number of 20, but also 12 was the race number for Juan Manuel Fangio when he was driving the W196. You see beautiful black anodized metals. The dials are a one-off blue color, which have never been seen before. We also have this ball shifter. It's a beautiful blue anodized and engraved ballpoint shifter and also dressed in leather. So as it looks kind of significant to the past and very different than any other BC ever made. We also see this beautiful set of luggage made by Simone Scadoni, Scadoni of Modena, using blue carbon fiber, tartan fabric and leather to bring it all together. You'll see the garment bags behind each seat. You'll see the small travel cases behind the seats. And then in the luggage boxes, you'll see the larger pieces in there. And it's just one of the coolest features of the car to look at because there's no brand that does luggage like Pagani. Not only is this car comfortable to drive, but it's also very powerful and a true performer around any motorsport track. This car spent a lot of time with development at Imola other racetracks like Monza to give it performance beyond any traditional BC. The car produces approximately 850 horsepower, more than the other BCs that were constructed. As we look at this really special blue carbon fiber, the process to actually tint this carbon is unique. It has to be done in a very specific way to layer over the carbon fiber weave to give it this kind of effect. It's very time intensive. There's a lot of trial and error that has to take place with tinting this special blue carbon. And with that, you have this masterpiece. You look at this exhaust system, you look at the tips of the exhaust, beautifully engraved is Machina Volante. And if you also look through the mesh grill, you also get to see very subtly is the Machina Volante embedded into the exhaust system. It's also worth noting that this exhaust system was made by a very famous exhaust builder, not able to mention names, but very iconic in the industry. And the sound on it is just wow. Within acceleration, it just makes all these crazy sounds, pops, bangs. And it also pushes more power, so it's also very effective from a mechanical and engineering standpoint. Additionally, when you water the car, it comes with this beautiful race box. And within that, you have another set of wheels and tires, which would come on a set of Trofeo R's for your track day experience. This box also plugs in um, when you would go to our track and also stores the race suit that comes with the car and other fun items that you get when you purchase this car. We're really proud and honored to represent the Machina Volante, such an iconic car to come out of Pagani, a multi-year project that the original owner commissioned. And now we wish to congratulate the new owner and collection, MF Autos, based out of Ohio in the United States, where this car will very proudly be with a great family, a great collection, and a great steward to enjoy this car, to share it with others, and to participate in Pagani events and shows, hopefully all around the world. 
We're very excited for you to learn more about the Machina Volante, this unique BC, car number 12 of 20, and to see it hopefully soon on a trip done by its new owners.